Hello everyone, I'm Chris from Polkaworld, a global community for Polkadot. This series of videos is all about Polkadot's story, and today we are going to talk about the men who founded Ethereum and Polkadot. In 2013, Gavin met Vitalik Buterin through an old friend. After hearing about Vitalik's thoughts on Ethereum, Gavin felt that the idea of making the blockchain programmable was quite interesting and decided to help Vitalik code Ethereum up. In 2014, he went to my army and co-founded Ethereum with Vitalik and several other founders. At this place, Gavin developed the first operational Ethereum implementation, generally referred to as the Ethereum POC1 or Alpha version. After that, Gavin acted as the first CPO of Ethereum and wrote the Ethereum yellow paper in which the Ethereum virtual machine was defined, it, which was the first official specification of the blockchain state machine. In the next two years, Gavin devoted himself to the development of Ethereum, which included general platform architecture, the majority of the C++ Ethereum client, and the initial design of Solidity, an object-oriented programming language for writing Ethereum smart contracts. With the escort of Gavin's powerful engineering realization capabilities, Ethereum went live as expected. In 2015, Gavin proposed the concept of Web 3.0, which is to establish a decentralized and free web environment, break the monopoly of the internet giant, give data, privacy, and self-sovereign back to users and lay a foundation for individual freedom against violent authorities. In 2016, Gavin left Ethereum and founded its core. After gradually gathering more than 60 developers from 15 countries, its core later became Parity Technologies, which wrote the Ethereum Parity client in Rust language. The reason for Gavin's departure from Ethereum is unknown. Some speculations believe that Gallen and Vitalik may have a disagreement on the development path of Ethereum. In some subsequent interviews, Gallen did mention that he did not agree with Ethereum's governance way of just enacting a hard fork, and he saw the fact that only Ether is allowed to pay gas fees has made Ethereum deviate from becoming a free competition decentralized platform. It seems that in Gavin's mind, Ethereum cannot realize his vision of Web 3.0 anymore. In 2016, Gallowood published Polkadot's initial white paper draft, describing Polkadot's heterogeneous multi-chain architecture. After that, he led Parity to embark on the development of Polkadot. In a recent interview, when the host asked Gavin about his vision for the creation of Polkadot, he replied that, what is your vision for Polkadot? And really, the, the vision was was just to sort of make blockchain great again. It's like, can we take blockchain to its, um, uh, you know, a step further? Um, can we actually address some of these really uh, important issues that we've always known have existed? This statement may sound a bit not humble, but if you have learned about Polkadot, you'll find that this is not rhetoric. Polkadot tries to solve several fundamental problems in the blockchain industry. Scalability for performance, flexibility for architecture design, and upgradability for governance. Polkadot adopts a heterogeneous shard multi-chain architecture of one relay chain plus multiple parachains. The relay chain is responsible for the consensus part and ensures the safety of all parachains. Each parachain is a heterogeneous shard that can run in parallel, thereby improving scalability. At the same time, each chain can have its own business logic, focusing on solving problems in a specific field. Parachains have high flexibility in development, and even other public blockchains with different consensus, such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, can be brought in through bridges. Polkadot has also solved the headache of forking in the blockchain field. In the past, the blockchain needed to be upgraded with a soft fork and even a hard fork when the opinions differed. 
Tokodo designed a set of governance mechanisms to allow the stakeholder to reach an agreement on the chain, jointly determine the future of the network, and then upgrade through on-chain runtime updates. This ensures that the network keeps pace with the times and the community will not be divided due to different opinions. If the development of Ethereum proves that Gavin's outstanding engineering ability, then these elegant and visionary designs in Polkadot have proved that Gavin has extraordinary ideas and is a great thinker. When ideas and actions are perfectly combined in one person, we generally call them creators. They may promote the development of the industry and may even open up an unprecedented industry. Gavin is undoubtedly a creator. In the eyes of a creator, it is not enough to just conceive a great thing, but also to build it brick by brick. When he finds the problem, he will try to solve it instead of just waiting for a solution to appear. He enjoys the joy of creation. In his eyes, innovation is not to fix or improve the original things, but to create something completely different. This was proved again in the birth of Substrate. The story about Gavin is not over yet. In the next episode, we will talk about innovative ideas based on Polkadot. Subscribe to our channel Polkadot to learn more about Polkadot and the ecosystem. See you in the next episode!